you ever get to the point where it's like, okay, you know what? We live together, we work together, we have a child together now, yeah. enough of you, and do you guys <laughs> ever like take a break from each other? That's a very good question and, and a very important one. Um, I think we're very lucky, we talk about this, like at night sometimes, you know, you do need to, like, I think space is very important in, a re in any relationship, even with friendships. Like our people who I'm with, the band members and tour managers and stuff, and DJs, sometimes we can get into it because we're on the road for too long with each other. But with guys, it's different. You could just be like, dude, just get out of my face, man. Like, I don't want to see. You. And then two minutes later, it's fine. But guy and a girl, or even, I guess, girls and girls, I oh, guess yeah. it could get bitchy. But <laughs> with a guy and a girl, all of a sudden, it could turn into a big argument. So she knows that about, you know, we both understand that in order to keep the, the relationship uh, fresh and alive, we need to like, I'll say, oh T, uh, I've, got, um, I've got the evening off. I, I wanna go out for drinks with my, with my friend, he's in town. Go, she's like, you go, 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 go. Yeah. Because she knows how important it is for me to be able to get out the house and have some time with somebody else and share some jokes with some friends and then come back and actually have a story to tell. Otherwise, what is the story to tell? Like I said, she knows everything that's going on. So, and, and equally with her, with her yoga and stuff, she has so many extracurricular things that she still manages to do. I don't know how Tara takes on so much, but if it wasn't for that, it would probably drive her insane living in just Jay Sean world. Right. And then what we also do um, is we, like, we do date nights. So date night is like no work talk, no cell phones. Like, let's just go reconnect and just have dinner together go bar hopping, like just enjoy being together again. How often does that happen? About once every two weeks. We try, yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's really no, good. No, it's important, especially because like you said, we're together so much. But we're together, but is that quality time together? Not necessarily. Right. That's a thing. There's a difference in being together all the time and really connecting. So that's why we, we do that. So let's talk a little bit about um, your ethnic background, Tara. I know a lot of people are curious. Right. Um, I know you're half Indian, and what's the other half? My mom is from America. She was born in the Bronx. She's half black, half white. Um, and so when you and, and, and uh, Jay Sean were, were seeing each other, was your family aware of this, or was it a secret to them as well? Oh no, my family they knew, knew very straight early. Away. Straight away. <laughs> I was thrown in the deep end. Oh, yeah. On Mother's Day, I met the whole family on like yeah. one of the most sacred days of a family. So we met, we, we met in Miami in January and in May he, was our, he met my family. Yeah. That didn't mean that they were meeting him as my like significant, but they were all aware that there was, you know, you could see that there was chemistry. Um, but yeah, my family is a huge part of my life. So it was very important to me that he met them early on because I was kind of at a point where I was like, either he's gonna connect with my family or he's not, and if he doesn't, then, you know. It, because my family is such a big part of my life. So. Now, what about your family? How did they react to Tara, and when did they meet her in this, in this process? Tara actually came over to England for a few visits as well, because I used to always hop to America, so she came over, and I think by the second visit, I was like, okay, come meet mom and dad, and stuff like that, and so she did, and then eventually, she actually moved in to our house for a couple months. Yeah, because uh, I was like, okay, well I'll come, you know, t I could come to England, but my family is very, very traditional. Um, our moms had to speak on the phone. I mean, they were like, you know, they're very traditional. It didn't matter how old I was. Um, so, you know, I, I came into his home because my mom and dad didn't want me to, you know, we weren't allowed to have any, you know, go get an apartment kind of situation. Together, so. you mean? You uh, right. to get an no, 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 okay. no. Yeah, okay. exactly. So I, I literally moved into his parents' house with his mom, dad, what? brother, and grandparents. What was that like? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was amazing. I cherish that time because I think now I'll, I'll, I have such a great relationship with his mom and dad, and I think the reason for that is because I lived with them. You know, so it really bonded us. Talk a little bit about. I, I'm sure the fans want to know how you proposed. Did you have any idea it was coming? Let's start, <laughs> let's start with you. We met in Miami was where we, I guess, you know, like I said, really sparked off. So I wanted Miami to be the place where I proposed. But we kind of did things backwards because as she was saying, because she was moving into my house and we were spending so much time together, our parents were like, uh, you, better, you better put a ring on there right now because otherwise this is not gonna go down. Whose parents, yours or hers? I mean, I think really hers. Yeah, but mine were. Being, yeah. the, being the girl, yeah. you know, they're gonna be obviously more like, what are your intentions with our daughter? Right. So um, I was like, okay, I have no problem, you know, uh, showing my commitment. 
But then, so I guess because and my mom's just crazy because she used to work and her schedules were so insane. My mom still to this day will ask me, what are you doing in May 2018? I'm like, oh. mom, why are you, I don't know. She's like, I need to book my days off. So she was like that. So she was like, so oh. she basically told us the dates that we could have our engagement right. in England. And Before we were we weren't engaged yet. Got it. And the, the date for the religious ceremony was already booked. <laughs> so now I had to actually do the proposal. So she was getting more and more stressed because she's like, I'm already technically in getting engaged to you, but you still haven't proposed to me. So me being me, <laughs> of course I had to do a couple of fake out proposals uh, just to wind her up and for fun. So I took her to this restaurant where we first held hands. And she and I had put a sock in my pocket. Oh, that's just so mean. mean. <laughs> that's just so mean. mean. Really? Right, right, horrible. Right. And she's like, ah, he's gonna propose. <laughs> and so I sat there and I was like, um, you know, I have something really important to ask you. And yes. She's like, no, he really did. She's that. like, what? And I was like, do you like the garlic bread here? Because I don't know if it's <laughs> that good. I don't know if I want to order it. <laughs> Like this guy. So then we walked out and she's in a mood and I was like, what's wrong? She's like, nothing. I was like, you didn't like the food, did you? I should have got the garlic bread. I'm sorry. And so, but I knew what I had planned. So anyway, then I am. Um, so how many of these fake outs did you do, by the way? There was one more, but in Miami. Okay. So then um, I had my DJ make a mock flyer um, for a show, a show that I had in Miami. So, of course, Tara was involved in that. She got the email and uh, I was like, oh, I have a show in, in, in Miami. I was like, this is awesome. Let me just take you along. We'll make a vacation out of it. Um, so we went there. Of course, there was never a show. Um, Which I didn't understand even after he proposed because I was still so set that we were there for a the show. Concert, mm -hmm. right. So anyway, um, I said that they're going to put us up in this really crappy hotel, which I don't really like. I was like, we're only here for two days. Why don't we stay at a really nice place? Let's go stay at the Delano. And the Delano is where we kind of had some chemistry, right? And um, so I, I, I had talked to the person before and I was like, I want the best suite in the, in the whole place, by the pool, double, it was like a, two, a duplex apartment and stuff. And so we put up there, she's like, really? Like, Jay, you don't need to do all this. And I was like, no, why? Let's just enjoy it. And so then, um, I was like, okay, cool. So we sat there and then I took her out for dinner. And again, <laughs> did the old thing in the pocket. She's like, <gasps> he's gonna propose to me, he's gonna propose. So, and of course I didn't. So she's wondering, why does this guy just keep carrying this weird bulky thing in his pocket? Like, what is it? <laughs> did you ask him? Mind. Did you ask him? I think she knew by that point, we we're in Miami, he's right. gotta do it here. Yeah, so you're not trying but to like, ruin it. I didn't wanna let her know where and when I was gonna do it. Anyway, we get back to the room and she had gone to use the, the restroom and I put a DVD in the DVD player and I had my friend make me a mock MTV interview with me, right? MTV America interviews up and coming artist Jay Sean and it was one of these situations with a fake MTV logo on the top and stuff like that but it was on this DVD player. So I'm switching through the channels now, right? And I was like, oh, I was, I was like, oh Justin Timberlake concert's on. And so just before my interview on the DVD player, I had a snippet of a Justin Timberlake concert. Right, so she thinks it's actually live TV. So she's sitting there watching it. She's like, okay, cool, we watch it. And then all of a sudden it cuts to me. She's like, what are you doing on the television? And I was like, oh man, this is an interview I did in England. Like, when did you do this? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, we need call to call mom. my mom. <laughs> we need to call Jeremy. We need to tell everyone to turn on the TV. Right. And he's like, and I was like just, watch. Just, just watch. So then um, they're interviewing me and they're like, so tell us about your music video for, you know, Stay. We hear that you had this girl called Tara. She's a model from America. I was like, oh yeah, Tara's amazing. And then I just went and going on and on the camera. I'm going on and on talking about how she's, how she is and how sweet she is. And she's looking at, she goes, why are you saying all this? This is an interview. She's like, you're giving way too much information. People are gonna know we're together. They started showing YouTube clips from when we were together. And I'm like, where did they get this from? That was like our private footage. Right. So, I'm so she's freaking, freaking out. out, wondering why I'm on TV now telling the whole world about us. And anyway, then towards the end of the interview, I said, you know, it's funny. I actually met Tara in Miami um, at a place called Delano. And I was like, in fact, if I was in Delano right now, maybe sat on the bed next to Tara, I'd get down on one knee and say, and that's. <laughs> well, I just got goosebumps. Yeah. That's incredible. It was amazing. He did. So, it, he put so much effort into it. It was amazing. How elaborate. Yeah, yeah. it was amazing. Well, he's a romantic. <laughs> so then I was. You can tell from his songs. <laughs> 
So then anyway, I was on, on one knee and she's just... Next. I was totally She's more stunned. confused by anything because she doesn't what understand going what's going on. And I was like, well, then yes, no. And she's like, but the TV... I was, I was, I was like, so Forget confused. about the TV, it's a DVD. Yes or no. So it was quite cute. That's I hilarious. Mean, he totally threw me. And then I still was like, okay, so are we moving to the other hotel? When's the show? And he's like... There's no show. We're just here for. Th I was like, what? You know, it was amazing. Well, I have to say, I'm very impressed by that. That is that is quite phenomenal. And and the ring, did you? It's beautiful. Did you have Thank any? You. Did you have any help with that, or did you, was a, it all you? That's all. That's a bit of both of us. Like, uh, I'll tell her what I I like and what. But obviously, she knows more about the diamonds as every girl does. I I was just like, what do you want? I, you know, I'd kind of ser searched out, and she said she liked yellow diamonds and stuff, and then. Um, I'm sure every girl has their own vision of what they yeah. want there. Oh, by the way, guys, anybody who's watching, just so you know, when you propose with the ring, the women will always expect an upgrade at some point. Okay? Just so you know, I wasn't aware of this. I thought that is the ring I'm going to give her and she will keep this for life. And she will go, oh, how sweet. I'm going to fix the band on that. Put another couple of diamonds on there. Let's get maybe a bigger diamond. Okay, cool. We'll save that for later. Is yes, that what you did? This happens. Um... Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so even if she doesn't like it, don't worry. She'll probably make it into yeah, what she wants. Yeah, why not? Later on.